Hi, it's Joy, and today I'm going to watch in Batwoman season one, episode eleven, a very unbirthday present. So I'm guessing it's someone's birthday, maybe Kate and Beth's. And that was obviously the ending of the last episode. Very dramatic was that Beth is alive. There is now a Beth from another world who's going to have a whole memory of having a life, not being dead or not being, you know, kidnapped. Um, and what is that going to mean for Beth? This Beth, what's that going to mean for Kate? What's that going to mean for Alice? It is a lot. I'm also hoping that Mary and Kate are going to be now on the start of a beautiful, wonderful relationship that I can see them having. And I'm just very excited to see where the show's going to go next. So yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, of course, she said happy birthday at the beginning, didn't she? Who the hell else would I be? I'm so ready for this. And I hope Kate... Oh, Kate, sweetheart, it is Beth. Oh, Kate, my love, think about the multiverse. I hope this really is a Beth, otherwise I'd be very sad. I think you'll see a cat. Poor Beth. And I guess poor Mouse. And what do you think she's going to wish for? My heart does break for Beth. This Beth. He's downstairs. You're welcome to see for yourself. I would want to. I'm glad Mary's part of the team. I know she's not fully part of the team, but you know. Maybe this man's in here. Maybe it's to do with her study. She somehow managed to survive. Oh. How are you and her? When you figure it out, let me know. Mary would like to be that close with her, and I want Mary to. They can all be sisters if this Beth survives. Please survive. So you think mm -hmm. that galactic dude put all the why are we always going on our birthday? I didn't recognize you then. But I do now. Oh. I'm so intrigued by what they're gonna do with this. My wish came true. Mm. My heart is breaking and healing and I'm really scared that this is gonna end up even worse for Kate. Taking this whole death of the multiverse thing is a lot better than I thought. <laughs> You have a master's degree in us. Here's the making of lost time. Oh, I, I'm so scared this isn't going to end well. Our band. God, it's so weird. <laughs> the fact that this used to be my bank. <laughs> it's a normal day, just chatting to my sister. It's what Kate's always dreamt of, and I'm, I'm so scared. We were best friends. Yeah. Ever since you pulled me from the car, I. Oh my goodness. Back from our so now all oh, the guilt that's gonna cause the bridge. So there was a crash. So this isn't really Beth then, right? Oh, this is just there to mess with Kate or something. Or if this is real, it's gonna make Kate feel even worse if she could have saved Alice been, back then. Ever since then you've been my hero. Okay, this is shattering. Refusal to turn on the bat signal has anything to do with that woman coming out as a lesbian. <laughs> my wife, let's not get distracted by politics. Yep. Do you know what it's like to feel trapped? Getting in your head. They'd rather avoid a political hot potato than have Batwoman save the kid of one of their own. That's crazy. Welcome to the world we live in. Mm -hmm. Save them anyway. Sounds like something Bruce would say. Yeah, well, he'd probably actually do it too. Oh no, sweetheart. Things with the multiverse, you don't know, things could have been different. The car could have been further over the edge in your world. There are so many possibilities you have to try and think of. Oh my goodness. Kate, back to Kate. Can you hear me? What? Kate. Kate, that was unexpected. Oh my goodness. You remember that, don't you? That we never would have made it through without each other. Yeah. Must be a clue, right? There's definitely a clue in there. There is a lot to get through here with this Beth. I guess you could say he made the Cheshire cat disappear. Alice needs a hell of a lot of mental help and then living in an institution. What? Or oh, Beth. Please really be Beth. Demanding Alice. Yeah. You put Beth. Nope. No. I, sorry. Just uh, not want to risk yeah, Kate using her sister. I'm going to save her life in this one. I really want this to be a good thing in the long run. <laughs> I'm feeling too many things. That was a very handling that place to go to. My heart breaks for that little girl who was trapped in that cell. For everything that man did. Yeah, to exactly. Her. But it doesn't. You've been replaced. That quickly. 
because that would feel exactly like being replaced with her. She wouldn't understand the wider everything. Oh my goodness. Ugh. I don't remember. Has she got this recorded? Because I could use that in court, right? Oh my God, that lovely. Yeah, she she is. If you off with her. Yeah, it would look exactly like Alice is sat there. The last time I looked into those eyes, my mom was dying in my arms. Poisoned. Oh, Mary. By Alice. I don't blame you. This is horrible for Beth as well. Which is why I'm so, so sorry. This, I really didn't expect this as a development. I'm so intrigued and there's too many emotions. You've got this, Beth. If he says the code, they're screwed. Oh no. Were you followed? No. Of course not. Oh. Oh goodness. There. Any lion? Run, do something, someone. About here. Oh goodness. Oh, okay, this is not going well. Come on, Kate, you can do it. You can actually save her this time. <laughs> That's, I really hope she's going to die. That doesn't look fatal, unfortunately. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. The boys and Beth. This is the pivotal moment, both in the past and now. Don't call me Beth. Call me Alice. Disassociating from everything she's been from becoming a new person to protect herself. Poor child. Only so much you can take before you break. Creating an entirely different reality and becoming someone else. Yep, exactly. Is Beth still in there? You're not getting through to her like this. I do I do wonder if she's too far gone or not. I think she might be. For anything other than intense therapy to get through to her. Okay, let's go back to Kate and the burning car. Although, did she have a knife in the book? And now she has it. Or the rope. Oh, she, oh she's got the fishing thread. Go, run, run, run. Quickly, Sophie. Where is the squad of soldiers behind you? Drop it. She didn't look very well. <laughs> Still trapped in yours, and you always will be. You don't have to be. You can One learn to your own escape it. You were going to get through this, Sophie. Figure out exactly who you are. Oh goodness! Okay, Beth, Beth, Beth. It's in a car as well, which is very poetic. Oh goodness. Yep, yep, yep. You're an adult now. Adults are better, stronger, able to protect more easily. Oh, thank goodness. How are you? I came to ask you the same thing. Rattled. I remember everything. Sophie, you need therapy, I think. For example, to be okay or accepting yourself. Okay. Did you get anything good? So oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because the people believe in her. That's really lovely. Sometimes the city surprises you. You put a bullet in her and no one would bat an eye. I mean, this time we do exactly that. It's hard because, I mean, I think prison is what she needs, but it's not like they have a lot of options. <laughs> She's got Beth! I love Mary. I read what if there are multiple universes? <laughs> there were. Like, oh, oh, collapsed into one. Mm-hmm. Only yeah. You're right. That's crazy. 
<laughs> it's exactly what happened, Mary. What is It's always two candles on the cake, that's why Beth looked at the one candle in the place. I'm really scared that something's gonna go wrong with this. Oh no, see, yep, something going wrong. There can only be one, is that it? And also, like, what Alice is gonna do when she figures out that there's a problem with Beth? She hated Mary enough as it was. Can only be one. It's like with any of the other doppelgangers out there are gonna be having issues. Oh goodness. I'm really scared this isn't going to have a happy ending. Okay, so I absolutely loved that episode. Batwoman is probably one of my absolute favourite ones of the Arrowverse this series. Like, you know, this season of all the shows. Um, I love having Beth. There was a bit where I was worrying when I was talking about um, oh, surprises for Kate. I was thinking, oh no, what if it's going to be too good to be true? Even though I know that we've had other doppelgangers, even though I know that the multiverse, I was like, too good to be true. Um, so obviously if only one of them can survive that's gonna be awful or if it's gonna to have to be that they can both be here but they can't be close to each other so obviously Alice is a criminal she's not gonna to agree to move away so maybe Beth's gonna to have to move away and then Kate you know she'll kind of have her sister they can Skype you know they can FaceTime they can still be in contact but maybe something like that will be the solution or maybe they'll be able to develop some kind of tech I mean what I would do is call you know Cisco and all the people I know that knew that I don't know were scientists and get them to be brainstorming ways that can maybe save them so I wonder what will happen in the next episode I doubt there'll be any crossovers so soon afterwards but I'd like to think that you know they can talk like they do another show they can say oh Cisco has sent this kind of to fix it but I'm guessing you know it's something along those lines it's gonna make this a lot more dramatic and when Alice finds out Alice is not going to take it well that you know I think she might she'll hate this Beth more than anything I reckon because this Beth didn't suffer the way she did this Beth got the perfect life this Beth gets Kate this Beth gets to just wander in and immediately get everything Alice has ever wanted um and I don't think that's going to go well when she figures it out her mouse is obviously in custody that's good <sighs> one less ally that she currently has at her disposal um but I honestly this show could go anywhere next I mean hopefully they were recording the interrogation so maybe they could try and use some of what Alice was talking about designing faces as proof that Jacob didn't do anything um, I don't know but that was a lot I love that Mary was just a part of it obviously the next step is for Mary to find out about that woman but she was there she was part of the team she helped get Alice get Beth ready to impersonate Alice and she just kind of was you know obviously because I know Sophie told her about having seen her she saw her too but kind of that she was part of it all and I think Mary has lost everything at the moment and she needs to feel like she's got Kate and I think Kate including her in that will be a big deal and that's something that I really have been wanting since their first episode of this show is for them to develop a real bond and if Beth sticks around the three of them can develop a bond I'm here for that um but I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much about Beth because it will hurt a lot if she doesn't get to stick around or if she dies or something or if she's not real or, or I don't know if they have to fade away and there's only one of them or something kind of ugh, I'll be stressed I think it'll be awful for Kate but ugh. I think this episode for Sophie, having a villain, like throw in your face, kind of that you are trapped in a prison of brain making, she is. I think for Sophie, I completely like, my heart breaks for her. I mean, she is in a prison of her own making and having a villain throwing that in your face, you know, she has been living a lie and she needs to deal with that and I honestly think the best for her character right now would be to go to therapy to go to therapy to help her come to terms with who she is and to being okay with that to have you know your parents values you know you're you're grown now you're out of their house okay it's gonna kill you if your parents turn their back on you or whatever but you are strong you have people that will be there for you and I really hope she's gonna be able to come to terms with who she really is and be happy with that and that then maybe once she's there she will be someone that you can rely on I mean she already is I'm not saying she's a bad person but some of her kind of the issues I've had with her I think do stem from this problem she's got with herself and the fact that she's not true to herself so I don't know I have a lot of hope for Sophie that she's going to keep growing as a character and grow into herself then also this episode we saw flashbacks to Beth which was obviously heartbreaking I mean any time I think about what that poor little girl went through I mean I, I'm still on the fence as to whether or not this Beth could be redeemed I was always kind of thinking it makes more of a good plot line if she gets redeemed but if we've just got a good Beth that's also a good plot line um I mean she would need a hell of a lot of therapy to get redeemed and even then with all the people she's killed she's probably done a lot it would be in an institution but at least I'd have Beth back um but you know I think it's interesting that you can only survive up to a point and you know Beth had already been you know, she'd had the crash she nearly died she saw her mum's head she got kidnapped she heard her father in the house she knew her sister was on the other side of the door but she thought if she screamed they died you know kind of 
all of that trauma, not to mention the, the cat being killed and all of the other horrible stuff that that man did, the skin being sewn on, and then, you know, seeing, having thrust into your face that not only has your father remarried, but he's remarried and got another daughter. And then, you know, having to do all that stitching, you can kind of see that that was Beth's breaking point and that she just had a psychic break that, you know, it was safer to protect herself was to hide Beth away and become Alice, which gives hope, kind of like Sophie was saying, that Beth is in there because we've kind of seen it happen now. And she heard the story of Beth was just put away and protected. So you could kind of hope that, I mean, I'm not a psychologist, but that there would be hope that Beth could be in there, but at the same time I think this Alice persona is too strong and the trauma is too strong and also I feel as though Beth would be shying away from the actions you know this the other Beth who didn't do any of that stuff felt responsible because it was a version of her so I don't know how much hope there is for her but I'm loving this as a plot line and I'm really fascinated I love seeing the good Beth and I want them to all be a little family of Mary and oh, it was just very good and obviously Gotham PD being homophobic but the people aren't here for that you know it's 2020 um I think it's probably realistic and all the stuff about how it's very political suddenly comes into focus um, but I think the Gotham PD will have to rely on her before long. I'm still looking about Bruce, I want to see what he's up to eventually, um, next season is fine with that, I don't, I'm not in any great rush for Bruce, for Bruce, for Bruce, but I'm very intrigued and yeah I'm just so excited to see where the show is going to go next. So yeah, thank you for watching.